How's it going everybody? I am the Texas Man. Welcome back to the channel to another video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Make sure you guys subscribe and you guys hit that bell notification button to get notified of any and all upcoming videos coming out in the future here on the Texas Man channel. With that, we're going to be talking about another album review by Stephen S. Billings. This is his 2013-2014 album called Old Luggage. If you guys haven't had a chance to, make sure you guys check out his other album review that I just did yesterday night. So I uh, hope you guys will check out that video. And uh, also make sure you guys check out Stephen S. Billings um, on YouTube and check out his uh, albums and music. He's a really awesome contemporary pop um, uh, artist. So with that, we're going to talk about the positives and negatives and then get into the final review score for you guys. So first of all, I will say I enjoyed this album. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one. Uh, the Journey Home, um, I enjoy listening to that album a lot more, even though there are some problems with it, like the intro. Old Luggage, it has a couple good songs, but I can't say as an album as a whole, I enjoy listening to. There's only four tracks on this album out of the 12 that are available that I actually enjoyed. Um, so let's talk about the positives. Um, first of all, track one, the opening for it, just amazing sound design. The song, Hold On Tight, really amazing choice for the first song. Um, this album as a whole has a lot more jazz, hard rock, guitar, and dance pop musical sounds um, over the other album. And it does all those things in an amazing way. Um, the songs are separate from each other, just like the other album. And uh, each song has a lot of different sounds to them. And I'm happy that Stephen S. Billings was able to still accomplish the different sounds in each song. Like some artists, they will have an album and it, all the songs in that album sound the same. With Stephen S. Billings, each song has its own unique style and flavor. Uh, track five um, called uh, I Can't Give My Heart to You. Uh, very Christmas-like, and I really enjoyed that, and uh, I was really impressed with that one. Um, track 8 called uh, Crown Bearer. Um, I loved the sounds, the sound design, and the Rocky and Electro mix really worked well together. And um, the fact that there was no singing in that song was uh, really interesting and really well done as well. I'm sorry, that's for track track 9. Track 9, I'm sorry. Track 9 called Storm. Um, awesome sound, sound design, Rocky Electro. And there was no singing. It was really cool. I like songs in an album where it's like, it's just music and sounds and there's no song in it in an album. I really enjoy that. And it was really refreshing. Um, it's outstanding voice work on track 10. Um, the song called I Wish You Were At Peace. Um, just beautiful. Stephen S. Billings has a beautiful voice and he really shined in track 10. Um, and in track 12 called Old Luggage, a very unique and a very great story. So track 1, 9, 10, and 12 were just phenomenal and those were amazing tracks and I love listening to those constantly. Um, for negatives, uh, tracks 2, 5, 7, 10, and 11 were just way too long and they were constantly dragged out um track two called branches is almost six minutes long uh track five um five minutes long uh track seven four and a half uh wish i wish you were at peace is like five and a half and um track uh, 11 is like five and a half and just they were way too long and dragged out, and it was constantly just repeating the same lyrics over and over again. And I got the message after, the, like, the first time, and I'm just like, it just wasn't all that unique. Um, track three honestly felt like it was two songs in one. Um, I, I felt like there's just too many messages going on. It was constantly clashing. I just didn't like it. Um, what else? Um... Also, this album is called Old Luggage, and the Old Luggage song is the last one on the album. I think it should have been 
in the top three. It just would have been a lot more impactful that way. Um, if you've ever noticed, um, an album with its title song being the same thing as the album, it being in the top three or so makes that song stand out a lot more. The fact that Old Luggage, the song, was at the very bottom, I'm just like, is it not going to be good or something? And it was really good. I just, the organizational structure of the songs for this album just wasn't impactful in the way I think it could have been. So maybe change that in the future. Um, many songs and parts of songs don't have anything to do with the Holy Trinity at all. And um, they're more about Steve's life and experiences and a lot about his wife, which isn't bad. I mean, I respect putting a lot of personal story and heart and soul into songs. Um, but honestly, this should have been either in one song altogether or be a separate album and make it known that that's what that album and that song is about. Um, that is one thing that kind of dragged my score down for this album. I'm just like, every song is about his life experiences and his wife. And I'm like, I understand, but I'm just like, I didn't expect that, and I was expecting something else. And I just wanted to it focus on the Holy Trinity and the message of the gospel, and it doesn't do that in this album for whatever reason. It com This album is completely different from the other one, and I'm just like, I don't know what happened. I mean, I'm not trying to diss on giving personal experiences and, and stories and songs. I really think that's a cool idea, but having almost 80% of an album about that and it not being known, I think that was the biggest problem. Um, there's a bunch of other track intros. Um, I've talked about this in my past album review for Stephen S. Billings. I just don't like intros. It's a musical album. Sing, don't talk. Two different things. Um, track um, 8 and 9, they honestly use very similar sound um, designs and effects from other songs that I've heard from other artists. So I would be very careful, Stephen S. Billings, if you're watching this, as to stay clear of other artists and what they've already done in the past because there's a lot of sound designs in track 8 and 9 that I've heard before. So you want to make sure you're very careful that you're not stealing and overusing other people's ideas. Um, honestly, this album wasn't as interesting or unique as the past album. And um, it wasn't horrible, but like I said, there's only like four out of 12 songs that I can justify listening to again. Um, with that, I'm going to give Stephen S. Billing Old Luggage 2013-14 album a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next video. You guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.